Hi guys, it's Marilyn, or some of you know me, Chidera, and today I am in Australia. Yes, your girl has finally left the country. I needed to leave. I was tired of it. I needed a break from America, and here I am in Australia. Um, I've actually been here for a couple weeks already, but I just really took that time to myself instead of filming. But today I'm back. And I'm going to be doing a little styling video for you guys here. Where I am now, it's much cooler than where we've been staying for like the past week. So I need to do a little styling session. And for this one, I thought I'd take you guys with me and show you guys this cool app that I found called Scap. Essentially, it's a digital wardrobe and it's still in the beta version, I believe. When you open the app, it says it's in beta. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go through my current items that I brought with me and build some outfits here. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. So let me get my phone and let's get started. Ew, you guys can like see all my apps. What the heck? I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Um, my phone is very messy. But here's the app. Okay, so when you first open the app, this is what comes up. It's going to be your items gallery and it's going to show everything you already have so what i did was before i came to australia i took a picture of every single thing as i was packing my box and i went ahead and uploaded them here so that i knew what was coming with me this is also going to be really helpful for when you're leaving so that you can go through and make sure you have all of your items right so this is everything that i packed when i came to australia i haven't included any new purchases i made here but I also kept out a couple items because I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to upload it and how easy it is. Going ahead and selecting the shoes here. As you can see, it automatically does like a little cutout, but I don't really like it most of the times. I think that's something they can develop on. Um, but here we're going to go over and just edit out and make it a little bit more refined. Another great app that you can actually do this in is Shuffles by Pinterest. It's actually so easy it, and their AI is a little bit better I would think. Um, them and Canva have actually a really good AI for background remover if you're looking for something that would do this for you much faster and a little bit more cleaner. But like I said since this isn't something that I'm going to be uploading I just rather do it here and it has all of my clothing and certain features for building a wardrobe that I like better than what's available in somewhere like shuffles okay this is as good as i'm gonna do it I, like i said it's not that big of a deal and then once that's done you go over here and this is where things get a little bit more fun so i go here it's a shoe they don't have many options for shoes they might build on that um and then i'll do kitten heel black and then i also add the brand I don't know, just for fun, just so I can see how much of whatever I own. Save, and then there, <laughs> I don't, I really don't wanna like talk down on them, but they are a little glitchy. So as you can see, it took a minute for that to pull up, right? But once it's in, you'll see it here along with the other stuff. And then I'm gonna add the bag that I brought. I only brought one bag with me, guys. I know, shocking. Let's see how good this one is. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to harp on them too much for this one because I did take a really bad picture of it. I'm sure if you have like a clean background, like an all white background, it would do really good. This is a cross body pink Louis Vuitton. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and build a couple more outfits. I'm going to show you how easy this is. So, like I said, these are the ones I've built already with some items. Um, as you can tell, this blazer is essential right now because I didn't bring any other outer items. The events I have left that I know for sure is I have a date with somebody. Yeah, let's... I don't even know how that happened. Um, I have a picnic date. And then I have an event tomorrow, possibly leading on to going out. And then I might be getting drinks with somebody else. I might have a concert as well that I think I'm gonna go to by myself because one of my favorite bands has a concert out in Sydney that I'm gonna try and go to. So let's go ahead and build, I'd say five more outfits. 
So for the multicultural event, I'm thinking of either wearing this long black dress or this flower one. It's super hot today. It's like 90 something degrees burning up. So if I click on this, let's see here, show looks. It shows you the looks that you already have in your gallery that have this item, but then you can create a look. And when you're creating the look, it'll have suggestions that'll automatically pop up for you to wear with it. If you're going to try this, I recommend doing it so that you're the model instead of getting the pictures from the model online, because who we've all been there when you pick out an outfit, you think it'll look really great. And then you put it on, and you see it on yourself and on how it sits on your body shape. And you're just like, oh, I absolutely hate this. I love using this app and doing it so that I'm the model because I already see right here how it fits on me. So I have an idea on how it'll look if I wear both of the items together. Next outfit, we'll do this one for date night or it's a picnic. So this one's gonna be a picnic. So I want something a little casual, but cute. I would actually go for these white pants from Helsa Studios that I got. I'm obsessed with these pants. They're thick, they're comfortable. And then the top, you can add here what top would I wear it with. I probably would wear it with this whale's boner, whale's boner top that I got. Like, look at that. That is so cute already. Kitten heels it is. Because that's me, babe. With the kitten heels. Ooh la la. And I actually don't think I'm going to take the jacket. So that's that one. And one thing I really love about this, you can go in here, add some tags. I call this date night. So now, even if I don't wear this right now, I'll have a whole outfit put together as an idea for what to wear on a date. So I have another one that I'm going to go and grab drinks with so that's going to be a nighttime event so let's go ahead and dress for that i have been obsessed with this bustier leather bustier top that i got from Helsa studios as well no i'm not wearing those jeans that was a mistake it stopped recording i hate when it does that and it doesn't tell me anyways i have one multicultural event look two date looks one for a picnic which is a little bit more high end for the picnic but that's me and then one for drinks and then now we're just gonna do a couple more casual looks. Now I'm gonna make the concert look. Let's go for all the tops. I definitely wear this to a concert. This is a one shoulder top from Norma Kamali. I could do the skirt. I could do the shorts. Since it's so hot, I'm gonna go with the shorts here. We're gonna keep that real casual. Sneakers or sandals? I honestly hate those sandals. These black sandals, which is why I haven't really grabbed them, because they're also broken. But I think I'm going to do that because it's like a deserty area, I'm pretty sure. So we're not having our stuff get messed up here. And then no bag for this one. And we're going to save this as concert. I really like this one. I might wear this on Monday. This is just a casual. You guys get the gist, so we're just going to move on to some other features this app has that I like. So up here you have, you can see it's in the beta mode and it has the option to share your wardrobe. So you could kind of form like a community with this. So if anybody wants to download this and everybody wants to share their wardrobe, let's do it. I feel like that'd be so much fun. And then this area is really cool. It's called the ideas tab and essentially it will go ahead and take pieces that you haven't already combined in a look and try and build a type of look for you. And if you come over here to the calendar, the coolest part is that they have the option where you can see the temperature for your area. So where I'm at, basically tomorrow it's gonna be hot as heck. It's in Celsius, so I don't know what it is, but 33 I know is hot. And you can plan your outfit for that day based off looks you already have. So like we said, tomorrow's the multicultural event. Boom, this is the outfit that I have planned for tomorrow where high is gonna be like 90 something degrees. I wish I would have actually styled looks before I left for vacation instead of just uploading the clothing because as you can see, half of my wardrobe is not even being used and I brought it for no reason. 
So I could have been smarter with packing ahead and planning out my outfits and I wouldn't have had to keep that in my head. I would have had it documented. The main thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is that you don't always need to buy things. Sometimes you just need to take another look at your wardrobe and you'll see that you already have what you need. And I wish I would have thought of that before I went and spent money planning for this trip, buying some new pieces for this trip that I'm not even using. So if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking through. I really hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The next video is gonna be talking about some things from New York Fashion Week that I'm seeing as well as some trend reporting for 2023. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And look out for an Australia vlog. There might be one. I'm still debating. I haven't recorded anything. But if there's one, look out for it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.